Hey guys, this is Candle, and welcome back to Age of Wonders. We're back with the Keepers this time, and like last time, we had a choice between the Northern Trade Route and the Subterranean Path. My halfling advisors talk of a subterranean path through the mountains. Once the strict domain of dwarves, the caverns echo with the sound of battle. Orc and dwarven forces clash. Despite the dangers, that path, directly east, appears the fastest way to Lunaris, and my little friends assure me that the dwarves are friendly, especially towards those who battle the orcs. Keepers have enjoyed a history of cooperation with the dwarven kind for centuries. Now their fellowship may verily de deliver us. According to scouts, we must arrive within 20 days or Lunaris will fall and we will be trapped behind enemy lines. But since we know the Cult of Storms took that route, that is not the way we're going. We're going the Northern Trade Route. I fear that we may arrive too late and the trade route is long and arduous, but it is the surest way through the mountains. The exploration of strange caves will have to wait. The cult is certain to make, uh, to make the path treacherous, but I am told a keeper initiate of the name Devon Strongberry awaits in the tower at the northernmost part of the path. The cult moves to cut off our advance, and I am told I must arrive at in Lunarnus within 20 days or we will be helplessly trapped behind enemy lines. So here we go. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just go ahead and do auto. It wants to automatically add those, so let's go ahead and get rid of that because that's like almost all of our points. We got to move fast. So I wanted to keep like all my fast moving units. Apparently we have like none. Uh, Elven units do typically move a little bit faster than halfling units though. So we'll go ahead and fill out with those before adding in halfling units to round them out. Veterans and so on. And spend the last of our points on gold since uh, we have to worry about upkeep. The Cult of Storms takes the Underground Passage. Oh, fuck. Did the game just crash? Yep. The game crashed on load for me, so let's try that again. Let's go ahead and get all these units back. Yeah, it uh, crashed when I was trying to load up the next map for some reason. There we go. Let's go ahead and shift this over. Come on. There we go. Now let's try it again. Will it load? Yes, it loaded this time. All right. So yeah, this game does kind of crash on occasion. It doesn't run all that well. on mod I mean, it runs well on modern systems, but you do get crashes every now and then. And unfortunately, they don't crash the desktop. You pretty much have to force quit the program and load it back up again. So we've got Travelers Beware of... Uh, of the of nearby monster lair. Thank you for that. All right, so let's go ahead and get our fastest moving units and send them up here. So again, we need to spread thin fairly quickly. We'll go ahead and grab that. We'll send uh, this guy off on his own up over here. So we've got goblins to deal with. We don't have to worry about those too much. Send everybody else north. And I think we'll be good for this turn. All right, so again, the, we are on a time limit here. You can win it by conquest, but it is rougher. So we've got here, pay toll to the orcs. The trade route is controlled by the orcs of Lord Gror. None shall pass. All right, let's go ahead and send our leader down this way because we've got allies down here that can join us and give us more resources to deal with the orc threat here because we gotta we got to deal with them before we can continue onward. All right. Let's go ahead and join these guys back up soon enough. Next turn. All right. Now things are going to get a little bit tough. Because we can only assault them with one hex. One group. So we'll do a, go ahead and do that. And good, we won. Okay, I wasn't sure about that. All right, keep sending these guys up. Send them over here if we can. So damn close. And these guys can't move any further this turn. I could uh, forward it a little bit, but we'll be good. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these guys. We can just afford it, but we are in the green now, so that's good at least. All right, keep going north, and then we... Ooh, we have a choice to make. Now, let's go ahead and go here. We'll send one to grab the gold over this way and the mine. He'll get that on the next turn. Everybody else... 
while continuing north. So next turn we have a choice to make. So let's go ahead and grab the mine. Send him back up. All right. The trade route continues north, but we can take a shortcut to the east, but it will cost us health. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send like one party to the east. Everybody else will follow the trade route to the uh, the west here and north. Just to be on the safe side. You kind of have to rush it if you're if you're going all the way around, though. So that's kind of why you want your, your fastest units to go that way and send your, your slower units the other way around. Okay, we're kind of splitting things off a little bit more than I would have liked. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and attack these guys. There we go. We took them pretty handily. And there are more allies up here. Yeah, it's an elven town. Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll go do that and then leave this guy behind to send these up. That may have been the wrong choice, but we'll see. I think the quickest I've won this was on day 12. We want to keep going north. We definitely want to send a party north because that's how we get our hero, Devin Strongberry. As you can see, he's right up here. So we'll be able to get him on the next turn and uh, send him up here. And can we afford their help? 102 gold. We can't. Not this turn. So we'll actually go ahead and wait uh, for the next turn as well. Now, that shortcut I was talking about earlier does come at a cost because you've got these poison plants you have to cross. Min smallest path is, is two hexes and you have to go on them one hex at a time and they will damage you. So you definitely want to make sure you have enough health in order to get all the way across in one turn. Or enough, uh, yeah, enough health and enough points. There we go. So we got a whole party there. Continuing up here. Oh, so damn close. All right, Devin Strongberry joins our force. Let's go ahead and split things back up again. And he joined us with uh, two halfling rogues. So keep him going on his own. Keep this guy going this way. And uh, you know what? We'll send this guy on his own too. All right. And that's it for this turn. So you can see the, the shortcut is not really that much of a shortcut. It doesn't really save you all that much time. There we go. What I want to do now is we're going to go ahead and take this orc town. Simply that way we don't have to worry about it anymore. And I am going to drop a save real quick as well, just in case. Let's go ahead and save halfling. There we go. Now we don't have to worry about it, even if it rebels. All right. Now here's where you kind of start want to start bunching your groups up a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and put you over there. And uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and send you. Oh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just send all four of you to that group. Okay, we've still got plenty of time. Yeah, we had a town rebel here. Kurdom rebelled. I don't care. It's, it's an orc, orc town. We don't have time to consolidate our power. All right. Continue onward with our furthest group first. Now, if you want to, uh, if you want to win by conquest, you just go up through into here to do it. Why are you in that group? I want you in there. There we go. And let's put you over here to fill that group out. Ten days left. We should still have plenty of time. So there is a, uh, a goblin hero wandering around as well. I should have taken the northern route for the uh, goblins. Because I bet you this is the hero I would have been able to get there. Oh well. Too late now. Got to live with our choices. So yeah, the uh, orc leader is like right up here. You can grab, you can uh, destroy him if you want for a conquest win. But let's do this the way this is intended, which is racing to Lunaris. Hopefully with enough gold that we can buy their support because they're, they're a halfling town. All right. Let's go ahead and get Holy Woods. 
and keep our race south. Now, I don't care about keeping this town. I don't care about keeping really any of my towns. They're not that important. What I do want, though, is to get... Ooh, an elven town. They can help us, potentially. But we are, like, stuck right now. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get a couple visions. There we go. And these guys are friendly, so we can join. They can join with us. And keep going south. Consolidate power just in case we have to attack Lunaris in order to grab it. Uh, leave these guys behind. Let's go ahead and grab the watchtower. And race across to grab the mine. There's two mines here. And this is Lunaris right down here. So we have plenty of time, I think, in order to reach it. Okay, let's go ahead and grab that mine. And then this one. And just in case you had, like, a whole bunch of mountain uh, characters that had mountaineering, you have these uh, green wyverns guarding the mountains. So you would not have been able to make it across easily that way. 100 gold. Is it worth it? <sighs> You know what? I want Lunaris, so I'm not going to bother buying their support. We're just going to straight up attack them. I don't have time to, to deal with uh, gold. Qualms and stuff like that. Okay, let's go ahead and get that joined together and send him on his own. All right, next turn. All right, let's go ahead and grab that mine and head on towards Lunaris as our allies Continue onward with us. We'll reach Lunaris on the next turn with four days left. Don't even need to worry about advancing our, uh, our other parties. Let's just go straight here. 62 gold. I could have bought their help up there. Oh, well. But Elric of the Halflings, you were victorious. Smoke on the horizon. Never before have I seen troops move with such swift determination. Though I am weary from travel, my halfling fellows seem untouched by strain. They regale the populace with tales of nobles' nobles' feats they have yet to do. I no longer wonder why Meandor sees these tiny fellows as threatening. Our arrival in Lunaris energized the weary forces here. I have never before seen people so enlivened by our meager tales of victory. Should I live to a ripe age, I shall return to these good folk. Though small, they live big, even in the face of terror. So yes, our next mission will be the United Cities, the exact same mission that the Cult of Storms will be taking on in the next video. So until then, I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Please remember, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe.